I've always been interested in art as a kid, but I didn't start making art till I was like 30. So it was a really interesting experience to become an artist and come from a cowboy culture in the Northern Plains to making art. Even to this day, I find out that there's buffalo ranchers that will raise the buffalo for meat and then throw everything away, the hides, the heads, um, the bones, everything goes into the garbage and it goes back to that tradition of using everything, nothing's wasted. And so I, I take these horns and, and I carve jewelry and, and make things out of them and you know, these buffaloes were, were our relatives. We came out of the Black Hills as buffalo people and, and there's this huge connection to where they provided everything for us and I was told that the buffalo spirit lives in the horn cap it's a spiritual item. It's the center of our altar when we do our ceremonies. We treat it with respect when we work with it. I don't think it's a bad thing or anything that, that what we're doing and bringing to the people is, is, it's a good thing. During one of our ceremonies, it was where we go up and, and ask for a vision. And I remember sitting up on, on Bear Butte and it was freezing all night long and there was this big swallowtail butterfly coming and he just floated around and around and around me and and then he flew away and I asked this medicine man what's I saw this butterfly at, at when we were doing the ceremony and and he said well he said that's a real powerful sign he said when you see butterflies um, you will, will be reminded of our life ways it reminds me of home of our ceremonies and it really keeps me humble and so these butterflies really keep me centered to have this connection with Butterfly now is really a, a beautiful thing for me. Some of these designs uh, go back to some of our original designs, the, the diamond shapes and the um, triangle shapes, just different combinations. So it, it's kind of a big circle to where even though it's, it's, it's still a contemporary design, it, it still is connected back to tradition. In Lakota uh, Lifeways, the most that we can become is a common man, an Ikche Wachasha. We don't become masters or, you know, nothing special. Having that awareness of what it takes to be human is, is true power, and it's becoming that Ikche Wachasha, that common man. It's real simple, and we make it complicated a lot of times. In our Lifeways, there's seven things you, you have to do to be human, and that's uh, run, jump, sing, dance, speak in public, pray, and make things. And a lot of people don't do that. Our elders say, try everything. You know, to be human, you try everything. I'm Kevin Puyer, and I'm trying to be a human being. <laughs>